Two years to make a choice, Portland. Think before you drink. Swish, don't swallow. Think before you drink. Swish, don't swallow. Think before you drink. Swish, don't swallow. signatures to City Hall to let them know that the people of Portland care about their drinking water. A lot of people said this couldn't be done, that we couldn't collect 20,000 signatures in 30 days. We collected twice that number and we collected it and we're turning them in a day early. Yeah! We all need to stop and ask ourselves, why was this rushed through so quickly? Yes. Why was this done behind closed doors? Why wasn't the public told? Why did the City Council come to a conclusion on this issue before hearing any public testimony? Yeah. That is yeah. not the way democracy works. No. Yeah. 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 today to send a message to City Hall that we care about our water and we care about our democracy. We care! Yeah. 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 These are public servants and their job is to serve the public and not special interest, not do this behind closed doors. People care about their water and that's what we're here today to send a message to the City Council people. We don't want any more chemicals in our water. Yeah. 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 I want to take a moment to thank everyone who has worked on this campaign. I want to thank my co-chief petitioners. I want to thank all of the people that stepped up to the plate that have been working tireless hours around the clock for the past month and a half. I want to thank all of our volunteers who collected signatures. Yeah. I want to thank yeah. all of the people that signed the petitions. And I want to thank the people of Portland for researching this issue and understanding what it is that these chemicals are that we're putting in our drinking water. We don't want more chemicals. We don't want fluoride. We need to find real solutions for dental decay problems for our children, not the cheapest band-aid the ineffective solution that they can find. Our kids deserve more. Woo! Chief Petitioners, my name is Frances Quimps Miller, and first off, I just want to thank every single person who volunteered, who signed, who uh, went out and circulated. We have people working behind the scenes who literally have worked 14, 16 hour days, have sacrificed time with their thank family, you. with their friends, have used money out of their own pockets. Unlike some of the uh, backdoor dealing, not a single one of us got any money from any big corporations. Not a single one of us took any money to do this work. We care about the water. We care about democracy. And we care about the children. We care about the teeth. What we care about are direct, real solutions to dental issues. We don't want to yeah. just throw chemicals in the water and call it done. We want direct approaches and we want real solutions, real solutions. by Thank our you. commissioners. So from here on out, let it be known that Portland says we want clean water, we want democracy, and we will fight to get it.
psychologist than a child psychologist, and I am confident that when Portland finds out what hydrofluorosilicic acid is and what it really does to our brains and the neurotoxicity that it contributes to the brains of children who are already way overloaded with neurotoxins and can't think and can't learn and can't pay attention, they will not allow Portland to add more chemicals to our water to wholesale drink as though it was Kool-Aid. Yes.